It is an ace. Spoiled you again, huh? Now that I got you here, what's in the box? It's a bomb, sucker! Jim, Ace has a bomb. He's planning on blowing up the whole world. We need to stop him. Ace? I thought he was dead. No, he's still alive and he's really serious this time. Well, I just created a bomb neutralizer so it should counteract the bomb. That's really convenient. How does it work? Well, as long as it reaches the ground before the bomb does, it will neutralize the earth. So does that mean I need to drop it before Ace drops a bomb? As long as you drop it at the same time, it will fall at a faster rate because it has a larger surface area. Really? That's how it works? Yeah, according to fakephysics.com. All right, thanks, Jim. Why are you doing this? Because I failed physics, and I don't want to take revenge on all of mankind. But I failed physics too. Why can't you get over it? Well, we'll see how that pans out, because my bomb has more mass than your bomb neutralizer. Therefore, it will fall at a faster rate. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, because neutralizer has a larger surface area. So that means it'll fall at a faster rate than your bomb. Oh yeah? Well, take this. <laughs> Whoa, where am I? Welcome, Bert, to heaven. Jesus? Yes, my lamb, it is I. Please, take a seat. What happened with the bomb? Bert, the bomb blew up and everyone died because you did not fully grasp the concept of free fall acceleration. What's free fall acceleration? Free fall acceleration, Bert, near the center of the earth is that all objects, regardless of mass and or surface area, will fall at a constant rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. Bert, so that you can see evidence of this constant acceleration, we will watch the bomb and the neutralizer hit. As you can see here, the bomb and neutralizer fall at the same rate and hit at the same time. I still don't get how mass doesn't play a role. Bert, this is the law of energy conservation. There's mass on each side of the equal sign, which means that you can get rid of them, cancel them out. This shows that mass is irrelevant in finding the final velocity for each object. This would tell you they both at the ground at the same time. Oh, that makes sense now.